<laughs> it just keeps coming out right here. <laughs> I've lost it. This is making no sense. Oh dear. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I take back everything I said yesterday about feeling comfortable about all of this. We're right back in that really great, you know, challenging area of self-growth. I think I'm mastering the skill of letting go. Well, no, mastering, not accurate. I think I'm learning the skill of letting go of the things that I don't have control over through this process. But last night, was really tough because I got like no sleep. You know how you sometimes have recurring nightmares about being late to class or missing an exam or something? Yeah, those still happen. Except these kinds of nightmares are like, oh, you forgot to turn in your grades or you didn't take attendance, <laughs> oh, which is very apt right now. So, um, I got very little sleep and I'm a little bit loopy right now, but I've been like dead tired, dead to the world for most of the day. It's definitely been a challenge. I'm learning. Things are, things are being learned by me. <laughs> I've lost it. Maybe this is why my early vlogs were like this. Maybe I was just really tired. Anyway. I'm not doing anything today because I'm exhausted and I'm clearly not in a mental state to be doing fun things. I was going to make shrinky dinks today, um, but I am just ready to go to bed already. <laughs> this is making no sense. Oh dear. Well, this whole vlog project started because I was trying to uh, document my experience uh, through this whole thing. So they're not all bound to be, you know, creative, funny, uplifting uh, videos, I guess. Sorry, my creativity is running thin today. <laughs> I have spent many hours in front of a, a screen. Yeah, not a lot of creativity happening today in my brain. I'll give you one of the, the positive things about my day. Two things, actually. One, um, my advanced uh, ensemble is uh, working on some composition projects. And so they today was the day that they were supposed to turn in their, their selected text for their upcoming compositions. And I was filled with such pride at the way that nearly every poem was clearly connected to the way that they're processing what they're going through right now. And um, I just, you know, I'm a huge music nerd. So of course I'm just like bursting at the seams with pride that they uh, can use music in the same way that I turn to music to process things. They're, they're doing the same. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, that was a really cool moment for me today. Second thing, is that today is World Wish Day, April 29th. Obviously right now it's a really, really tough time for uh, wish kids and wish families. If you don't already know, my sister was a wish kid. Um, she went on a trip to Disney. Uh, and so this is my, Make-A-Wish has always been my charity of choice because it feels like uh, giving back and connecting to her. So. It's a really challenging time for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and for Wish Kids right now, but uh, I'm hopeful that when we come out of all of this, there will be many wishes that will be able to continue and um, really uplift uh, people's spirits in a way that we desperately need, need to be uplifted right now. That was all that I can think of. I'm just spouting at you. Fun times. I think I'm gonna go uh, watch some Jack Ryan. Yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> that, that's all I've got for today, clearly. I'm, I'm slowly going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I went away for a bit. Um, that's all for today. Don't forget to smile. 
<laughs> and hopefully I will be back to my creative self tomorrow. A little more sleep. That's my goal for today. I'll see you soon. Bye.